Imagine having a program automatically edit all of your gaming highlights. If this sounds good to you, check this out. What's up guys, I'm Tyler. And for the past couple months, I've been using this website or program uh, that goes through and edits my entire streams and gives me my clips that I can share and saves me hours and hours of time. And it's called Athenoscope. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys what you get from Athenoscope and then how to set it up. So as you can see here, I logged into athenoscope.com uh, with my account and last night I had a stream and it already has all of my clips, all my edits, all my highlights from my stream last night playing Call of Duty Warzone, shameless plugin. I stream every Wednesday at 8.30 on uh, Wednesdays on Twitch. Real Tyler Kent, see you there. But anyway, these are all of my clips. They're all categorized. I had two snipes as you can see here, two snipes in this round. All my matches are there, 30 kills, enemy down kills, and it categorizes them as, as well. So if there's a certain highlight you're looking for, chances are by looking for the highlights, you can just scroll through this and find what you want. And then once you find what you're looking for, you click that clip. So here I had three enemies down, three kills. It shows you the clip, that's the one I'm looking for. And then you just click the download button. It's that easy. And if you look at the left side of the screen, you can actually filter all of these clips as well. So highlights, clips, uh, I turn off deaths. I don't like to share my deaths, obviously. Enemy down kills, um, depending on what game you're playing. Uh, also, it doesn't just do Warzone, it does many others. And I'll show you that later in the video. So what it also does is every week, it also produces a showcase video for you, which just puts an awesome, pretty much showcase video, obviously of all your highlights from that week. And this is one of mine from a few weeks back. I thought it was pretty good. They put in a no copyright music to it also, so this way you can share it, obviously. Uh, so it's never gonna be like a Drake hit hitting it, or, you know, it's a non-copyright music they put on, so you're safe to share it on YouTube as I'm doing now and whatnot, and do what you want. All right, so now that you know what Athenoscope does, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up, and it literally takes two minutes. Okay, so first thing you wanna do, obviously, is head over to athenoscope.com. Uh, once you're here, as you can see, it's not just Warzone. It has plenty of other games, a lot of big names out there. Warzone, Apex, Fortnite, Valorant, Cold War, League of Legends, list goes on, Rocket League, Overwatch. Um, all the big names are on here. So it'll uh, find all the highlights from all those different games, not just Warzone. That's just the one I play most. So first thing you want to do is go over to the top right corner and hit register. From there, you're going to put in your email, your username and password and create an account. And once your account is created, you're gonna see a screen like this. And depending on where you do your streaming, I do both actually, it also supports Facebook gaming and Twitch. You're gonna go ahead and click whichever serv uh, streaming service you use, and then you're gonna link up your Twitch account or your Facebook gaming account. And once you have that account linked up, you're good to go. Whenever you go live, it'll send a signal or a message over to Athenoscope to start looking for those highlights. Um, I do find that a probably about I'd say one to three, maybe five hours after my stream ends is when I get my highlights received. Uh, so it does take some time for their AI systems to go through and find those clips and all your highlights and send them to you. You do get an email saying, hey, your highlights are ready from Athenoscope. So this way you know when they're done. And once you've done some streams with Athenoscope, you'll see that they have everything here dated, June 2nd, June 1st, and so on from all my streams and they keep it right there for you guys. So if you think of, I missed something three or four days ago, you can always go back and find it dated. Go into there, go into your stream, and then it pops up. I really hope this video saves you guys time editing your streams. If you like this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button right over here. And until next time, guys, peace.